Hello friends. So all of us have come across this term derivative at least once in your financial management life. In the derivatives, what is a derivative contract? Let me explain to you in a simple way what is a derivative contract. So all of us have heard about the star value, right? This actor buying a star value. This actor has a very low star value. So what exactly is a star value? Star value meaning. It's just a value of a star or value of an actor. But the star value is actually based on several factors. It may be the box office collections, number of hits that the actor has made, and again the number of best characters the actor has portrayed. See pala factors in no. Let me keep one factor as a base. Let me take box office collections as the base. Now, suppose the box office collection increases. Then what happens to the star value? Star value also increases. Now, if the actor gives or the actor's movie gives a very low box office collection, then the star value also decreases. So, we can see that box office collections and the star value move together. Or in other words, you can say that star value is deriving its value from box office collections. Well, this exactly is the concept of a derivative. What is a derivative? It is simply a contract to buy or sell a particular asset. What is the value of a derivative? Derivative contract derives its value from the underlying asset. Now, this underlying asset can be shares, it can be currencies, euros, pounds, or it can even be commodities, pepper, gold, copper, etc. So, just like star value derives its value from box office collections, a derivative contract also derives its value from the underlying asset. Now, if there is no underlying asset, then the derivative contract has no value at all. On the maturity date, suppose if the value of my underlying asset is more than the contract price, then as a buyer, I will be at a profit. Now that asset is worth a bigger value. Now, if on the maturity date, the price of underlying asset is less than the contract price. And as a buyer, I am at a loss. Now, based on the way derivative contracts are structured, we basically have four major derivative contracts. Forwards, futures, options and swaps. Now, see the basic idea to buy or sell the underlying asset remains the same across all the four types of derivative. But what changes is how this buying or selling happens. And based on that mechanism or based on their strategies, we are having four different set of derivatives. Mm -hmm.